My name is Seif Magango. I work for Amnesty International in the East Africa Regional Office, which is based in Nairobi, Kenya. So there's this young girl called Noura. She's called Noura Hussein. It's a very sad story. So this girl was married off early to a cousin of hers that she wasn't in love with. She was practically forced to marry at the age of 16. And uh, she was then forced to consummate the marriage and she resisted that. So she was um, raped by her husband. He tried again to rape her. There was a scuffle and she got held hold of, an, of a knife and you know, in that atmosphere, she stabbed him to death, which is a case of uh, really self-defense and it was pretty much accidental. So the courts found her guilty of murder and that meant that she would be subjected to the death penalty. Our campaign was to call on the courts to consider the marital rape, early rape and self-defense as mitigating circumstances in her case and to rescind the death penalty. So really the proudest moment for me was when that happened. The court overturned the death penalty and as we speak today, she, she, she's not at risk of, execu of, of execution. I think comparing uh, data in countries will show governments that they are, they are behind the curve. And naturally, I think these uh, governments would like to think that they are in the top league in terms of human rights and respect for people's freedoms. I think it will really help a great deal if we're able to show in quantitative terms the impact of bad laws on certain segments of society. It might win us a bit more success in, uh, in arguing the cases that we argue is in front of uh, the, the, the courts, but also in winning public opinion. That's what makes me wake up in the morning.